Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel, T to the Y to the M to the A R A. And today we're going to see what's going on in your energy, so Spirit, please give me a message for the Sagittarius Collective. Remember, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, please check out bantamara.com at the link in the description box below. Alright, so let's see what's going on for my Sagittarius. Alright, you have the Lavender Energy, and this is the energy of restoration, and you also have the Independence Energy. The restoration energy says that you are purifying energy and aroma comps and uplifts your body and your mind and eases feelings of stress and agitation from your earthly distractions and rejuvenate your soul so that you can truly feel radiant inner peace and harmony. So somebody is needing to take a chill pill and relax because lately you've been feeling irritated or agitated with life. You're feeling stressed out and it's time to bring that inner peace and harmony back into your life. So it seems like you had a lot on your plate. And it seems like you're almost in this energy where you are easily irritated by any and every little thing that happens right now. So it's time to like uplift your spirit. So maybe go listen to some meditation music, some rain sounds, some run a nice bubble bath, go do a burn ceremony, do something that's going to help you to relax and calm yourself. Or go smell some, You use the lavender essential oils. And you see it says lavender. So go use some lavender essential oils. Make your house smell good. Do anything that's going to make you feel better about yourself or feel better so that way you can get rid of this energy that's holding on to you right now. Also, you have the bleeding heart energy which speaks of independence. It says, the bleeding heart energy helps you to recognize and strengthen the true source of your heart's power. It is impossible to sustain directing all your loving energy to external sources or equally to rely on external sources to sustain you. Fill your strong, independent heart from within so that you may offer love even when brokenhearted. That is a message. Spirit is calling you to be independent. Independent. Not codependent, not dependent, but independent. Um, what I'm getting is lately you've been irritated. This could be due to some external circumstances. And Spirit is telling you bring all that energy back in. Don't let it... Don't keep putting all this energy outside. It says you're sustaining and directing all your love and energy external. All the love that you have, you're giving it to everyone else and everything around you. The job, the kids, the partner, your aunt, your, you know, your pet. You're giving it to everybody else, your coworkers or whoever. And they're telling you. And of course, what you putting all that love into somebody else, it's going to frustrate you when you don't receive it back. They're telling you take some of that energy. Pour it back in. Pull it back just a little bit. Just pour it back and pull it back a little bit. So that way you can feel your strong. You can find your strong. You can feel your strong. Even when you feel broken hearted. If you have a little bit of that love inside, you can start replenishing yourself instead of putting so much into somebody else. Because people are going to be people at the end of the day. There are good people in the world. And then there are people who can break our hearts. So they're telling you in order to feel your strong, be independent. And, and have an independent heart from within. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Where's this reading going to go? All right, what's coming towards Sagittarius? What is coming towards Sagittarius right now, Spirit? Serenity. Peace. It's time for you to... It's time for you to have some peace because lately you haven't been feeling harmony in your life. Things have been a little bit out of whack. And so they want you, serenity is the quiet strength within you that helps you weather the storm. You've been going through a storm lately or you've been putting so much into your relationship, into your friends, family, putting all this love into everybody else and not really receiving that back. And so they're telling you like, hey, so you've been feeling a little bit irritated with any and everything. So they're telling you it's time to tap into that peace energy tap into that buddha energy i don't know you gotta call on the ascended master buddha to bring in that meditative energy to calm your energy down because it seems like you don't have harmony right now and also it seems like this energy is blocking you from being creative so you're not really producing the way that you would like you're not really being creative or thinking outside the box because it's like you have a lot on your plate and life has been overwhelming lately for you. There's also this energy where you may feel a little bit of...
<laughs> I'm getting this energy where you may feel a little bit of jealousy or resentment towards somebody's behavior or how they're acting towards you or what somebody has. We well, have resiliency at the at the bottom of the day. This is it says you possess the strength to bounce back from adversity and keep growing stronger with each challenge. When you face challenges, you have the strength to bounce back from that. You don't have to stay stuck there. I'm getting this energy where there may be some resentment building up towards somebody that you love. You love this person, so you gave them your all. But when you're not getting that back, there seems to be this resentment that's building building up. Because you're kind of feeling like you're being taken advantage of. So be wary of that information, that um energy. Because it seems like you're in this energy as well where you don't want to endure anything else. Like, I can't take no more. I'm, getting, I'm so getting frustrated. I'm getting irritated. I don't want to take any more of what's going on. Like, I feel blocked. I don't know what I want to do next. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what my next move is. Because you put so much into these individuals, whoever this is that you love. Okay, what's the challenge for Sagittarius? Four cups in the reverse. I'm getting this energy of like, you realizing what you did and pulling your energy back, pulling your love back. I feel like you're motivated to seek a change also. So I feel like you're motivated to... I'm almost getting this energy. Like you're motivated to pull your love back or pull your energy back. Like if I'm not, if this not gonna be a give or take or like this not gonna be reciprocated what I'm offering to you, then I'm gonna pull it back. I'm not gonna do it anymore. I don't have anything to offer you or give you because this is stressing me out. Also, we had a ten of cups in reverse. It seemed like this could be dealing with uh either you feeling alone or isolated like you have a lack of community or support around you or you feeling like you're dealing with a dysfunctional family if you don't have support from your family members and you love them then it's like hey i can't feed you anymore don't call like i can't feed this energy anymore don't call me don't rely on me like don't text me you're going to get blocked out i don't want anything to do with you because it seems like it's one-sided. I need to restore myself because I'm getting irritated by everything. I need to maintain my independence because I'm pouring into you. But who pours into me when I need something? Who pours into me when I'm going through a heartache? Who can I call to vent to? I'm getting this energy that maybe a lot of people... I'm getting a lot. Ten of cups? I feel like that's ten different individuals. That's a lot of people cups who you have poured into. But when it's time to pour into you... The cups run dry. It's nobody pouring into you, but you're constantly pouring into people. Or you're constantly you trying to take care of the kids, take care of the, take care of everybody else, the girlfriend, the spouse, the kids, or either you're pouring into all these different cups. This could be an energy of tasking, being there to support somebody anytime somebody have a trip or an event or something. I'm getting this energy where Sagittarius. Sometimes you have to say no. Cause it seems like you you're in a dysfunctional family. You could you could have been in a dysfunctional dysfunctional family your whole life, and spirit is calling you to set boundaries or say no in order to maintain your peace. You have been going through challenges for a while, and it's time for you to restore yourself, to purify your energy, and bring calm back in. Sometimes these energies are not yours; they may be of other people, and they could come from your family line or from your family. Sometimes you gotta pull yourself away. Look, as you see. The Ten of Cups and the Four of Cups in reverse. Like, you have nothing else to give. You're down to your last few cups. And here it is, all these cups needing some love. Can you help and support me? Can I call you? Can I vent to you? Can I do this with you? Can I... You have nothing else left. You're kind of frustrated yourself. And this is why you're so irritated. Because you have nothing else. You're pouring from an empty cup. You have to put your mask on before you can help anybody else out and put their mask on. So, Spirit is calling you to have peace and harmony in your life. Okay, what's the outcome here? What's the outcome for Sagittarius? You getting some rest. You really need to get some rest. You're needing to meditate. You're needing to isolate yourself. You're needing to lay down. Um, there may be some daggers coming your way. You may, somebody may get through and they may be saying something. Oh, that Sagittarius acting cold. They blocked me out. They did this. They did that. Don't worry about that. Get some rest. Lay down um recuperate that's telling you to retreat and recuperate maybe you need to go to church if you believe in church or you support church or go do a healing retreat or do something that's going to help you out go get a massage 
Go put your feet up. Go get your nails done. Like, guys get their nails done, too. Go get your toes done. Go get a haircut. Do something that's going to help you to recuperate. Heck, just stay in the house and binge watch a show and eat a bag of popcorn or something. But it's time for you to, like, separate yourself from these individuals. Because there's so many people you're pouring into. And this seems mentally tax taxing for you. Especially on your mind. Swords is your mind. Like, I get your mindset is overwhelmed or your thoughts are constantly racing. You could be 44 years old because I have a four of cups and a four of swords. Or maybe your birthday is on December 4th or December 10th. Okay, so what's the advice for Sagittarius? What's the advice? Look, we have the magician in the reverse. No more... No more clashing and fighting with individuals. Let them be an orchestrator of their own life. Let them control their own destiny. Let them be the magician of their own life. Don't you don't have to do nothing. Don't offer them no money. Don't offer no them no advice. Don't offer them no emotional support. Don't go and pop up at their house to be there every time they call. Stop fighting this. Let people deal with their own stuff. Let them deal with their own wounds and heal their own wounds and their own trauma. Stop always being there. Like every time somebody calls, you offering money, support, this, being this, being that. They tell you the advice they said, you need to go relax. Look at you. You probably battling with headaches, um, feeling stressed out, chest hurt, and everything else. Go let them handle it. Don't deal with this anymore. Look, the tower is going to come down regardless whether you're there or not. That's why he's telling you, pull away from it. Separate yourself from this chaos. Separate this. Uh, your, look, Empress right here. Separate yourself from this chaos. Go get your peace and focus on what you need to do. Do for self. So that way you can become abundant in your world and you can get that creativity back. Because remember... Your creative blocks is like you're wondering like what's going on with my money? Why am I stagnant? What am I doing? What's my goal? Why am I confused? Why do I feel unorganized? Your energy is being blocked because you're feeding all these things and it's not helping you grow. Stop feeding things that's not helping you grow. You are the empress. Sit on your throne. Sit in your energy of um nurturing. You nurture things that you are able to water and that's able to grow. You attract things. This is the NHC look. <laughs> block creativity. Ace of, Ace of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that's dealing with a block creativity, having a lack of motivation, um, not being focused, being stuck, not moving. This is a person that's stuck. And we got the King of Wands here. You got to watch from afar. Watch. Don't, don't entertain. Just watch. Don't entertain. Don't be involved in it. Send in that King of Wands energy. This is a person with power and authority that's a creative, that's a leader, that's bold and outgoing, that has a lot of personality. Sit in that energy. Sit in that energy of who you are. All right. Let's see. Give me an angel message before I close out this reading. Thank you. It is safe for you to receive. See, you are always pouring into other people. And Spirit wants you to know it's safe for you to receive. It's safe for you to take a break. It's safe for you to lay down. It's safe for you to take care of self. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you will have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit of good coming to you and through you. As it blesses the world, it is safe for you to receive. You cannot pour from an empty cup is what I keep hearing. You cannot pour. You give so much. And this, I'm speaking to a person who has a given heart. You're constantly giving to other people that is depleting you. You could be battling with headaches because I feel like I have headaches. I feel stressed out. I feel like my back hurting. I feel like I have tension in the shoulders right now. And that's coming from this reading. You could be dealing with all these things because you give so much to people. And sometimes you feel like, hey, I don't need to take this. Don't buy me anything. Or no, you don't have to worry about getting me lunch or anything. Like, no, it's okay for you to receive. You're always giving to other people. It's okay for you to receive. And what else, Spirit? Make sure you're eating clean. Be careful what you're putting inside your body and your temple. Watch the food that you're putting in. Like sometimes when you get stressed out, you'll just eat anything. So be careful what you're putting in your body. And lastly, words of abundance. Make sure you speak in love and light. You have the ability, ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful. Powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in a loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you will attract to yourself and to others. So make sure you speak in words of abundance. 
I am abundant. Uh, money is always flowing to me freely and easily. I attract abundance. I attract love. I have prosperity. I have loving people around me. Like, make sure you are speaking that over your life. All right, that's all I have. If anything resonated, please thumbs up the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.